available for the, for the Greek importers. And the last point of our agenda will be talking about the via train mission that is the virtual event that we're gonna have in the next coming months. So prepare yourself. We're gonna have around one hour uh, to share with you really important information. We will record this event. So you will be allowed to check again about all the information that we will share with you. Let's start. Let's talking about Costa Rica. Costa Rica is a small country with a huge vision. It's one of the country that is located uh, strategic in the Central America. We have 5 million people. Uh, we are uh, uh, with 98% of the literacy uh, rate in Costa Rica. Uh, with a global GDP is around uh, $60 billion in uh, 2019 and almost $90,000 uh, global uh, GDP per capita in Costa Rica. We don't have oils, we won't, don't have gas and no mineral, but we are a country with peace. We are recognized globally as a peace country. We are the second uh, country in Latin America rented like the most faithful country. And this is one of our pillars because uh, we abolished the armies in the 49, we decide to invest as a country in education. This is why our country is well known as a talent country with very high capacity of our human talent, human capital. We are well known globally as a sustainable country. As you see this picture, this is one of the beautiful areas in Costa Rica that uh, you can visit us, of course. And one of the main point about sustainability is what the decision the country has done. Uh, Costa Rica is a country that decide in all the kind of industries, not only when we're talking about tourism, we're talking about business, a conscious business with the mindset to care the environment. So this is really, really important for us. And the government decide to protect our territory. More than 51% of the, our territory are protected, protected 30% by the public and the rest 20% for the private sector that make our country allowed to get 100% of our energy reno by renewable uh, sources. This is something that Costa Rica uh, is uh, leading in the world. One of the main things that Costa Rica made is to approach all the companies and uh, for different kinds of programs to develop a strategic business um, uh, value proposition regarding sustainability and good practices with uh, friendly and eco-friendly and with the uh, human capital. We are the most solid democracy in Latin America since the 49. So regarding trade, we have the main three institutions that is important that you know. First of all, uh, Procomer. Procomer is our export uh, trade agency of Costa Rica that uh, we represent today. We are the facilitators uh, regarding trade. We promote all the Costa Rican uh, companies around the world. We are the number one trade agency worldwide by the WTC. Uh, for six years consecutive, uh, we are under the umbrella of the Ministry of Foreign Trade, that is the a public policy uh, made it and the foreign trade agency of investment that is called CINDE. We have 42 offices around in the world. Uh, the most close to Greece is the Israel office uh, that now I'm based of uh, in Tel Aviv. And we work uh, worldwide. Uh, we have an office in Europe. We have in Madrid and uh, in Rotterdam, we have in Germany, 
Italy and as well um, in Switzerland, in London, and in other countries. Uh, so you will be allowed to, to get uh, in touch for uh, with our officers and uh, we'll be more than happy to share what we are doing and what we can offer to the world. And where is Costa Rica? Costa Rica worldwide is, is a country that exports almost 4,000 products in more than 139 countries. We are the number one in the world in pineapple, the number three in the world in bananas, number one exporter of carboneutal coffee in the world, and number five exporter of cassava in the world. Uh, when we're talking about the food industry, Costa Rica has the number two position worldwide in palm herbs and number three in fresh tilapia in the USA market, number four exporter of melon in Europe, and number one uh, in Central America for fruit, fruits and vegetable juices. So as you can see, Costa Rica is a country that have very good position worldwide, so you can trust in us. We are a country open to trade. We have already more than 50 free trade agreements that open the door to the one third uh, part of the global GDP and the economy with the rule of law. So we have a market around the 2.5 billion people. So this is something that Costa Rica can offer when you're thinking about to make a business in Costa Rica and we can offer a special benefit in the free trade zone. Uh, so your company, if you establish company in Costa Rica, you will be allowed to be a zero tax in, in different kind of program that we offer. So the return of the investment when you decide to Take a look, uh, Costa Rica has a partner uh, to open your, your market in, in the Americas, for example, will get you very high return on the investment. So as I mentioned, Costa Rica have position and products in more than 102 countries. So let's start with the part of uh, Karina. Good afternoon, uh, everybody. As Diana said, my name is Karina. I am from Costa Rica. Here is around six in the morning. So it's a pleasure to me to uh, share with you in this hour. And I hope that in the future you will make business with Costa Rica. Let's me, let me start with uh, this slide that we made to with one of the things that we, we think we share with Greece. As Costa Rica, Greece is always a, a country open to trade. So we can see that they have a lot of free trade agreements. And one of them is with our country or with the country of the region of Central, Central America. And this free trade agreement is valid since 2013 and we, um, this gave us a lot of opportunities for trade because of the uh, easiest um, tramits or the lower taxes that from Costa Rican products to enter in the Greek market. Diana, please, the next one. Okay, now let me share with you some general facts about Costa Rican exports. Maybe you don't know, but the European Union is the second export market for our products. And the importance of the European market for Costa Rica is around one fifth. Uh, if each $100.20 are going to European markets. Now, what we sent, we sent 51% of agricultural products, uh, where I call, um, light up bananas, pineapples, and coffee as one of the main products that we share with the European markets. 36% uh, are medical devices. Uh, in Costa Rica, there is a huge industry of medical devices. 10 of the most popular and famous and 
big companies in the industry of medical devices are located and manufactured here in Costa Rica. And 8% of the products are um, food products, for example, fruit concentrates, presser fruits, palm oil, and the another. Uh, specifically on Greece, Greece is the 16th destination for Costa Rican exports in Europe. Uh, we have around 22 23 companies exporting to Greece last year, and we send them 10 different products. Now oh, we think that Greece is an incipient market for Costa Rican companies. So we are sharing with the companies here lots of information about the Greece market. What we send to Greece, okay? 89% of the, of the exports we made right now is fresh products. 7% is uh, food, 3% medical equipment. And we send a little bit of metal workings. Last year, we send around $6 million. And we go inside the Greek market by the Piraeus port in the first place, it receives two thirds parts of Costa Rican exports and Thessaloniki is the other port that we use to, to go into the Greek market. And in the next one, we could see a better detail of the products. Diana, please can go to the next slide. Okay, uh, as I said before, in last year, we sent around $6 million uh, of course, we buy things from Greece. So now in 2020, 26% of the products that we bought from the Greek market was medicines. We also buy Kenneth uh, fruit tropical blends, peaches, and disposable razors is a product that caught me attention, but I, I think that there is an industry important in Greece. Now, what we send to the Greek market is pineapple, coffee, frozen fruits, and bananas. And I think that these are the products that have more potential here in, in Costa Rica for the Greek market. In the next one, um, I, we, from now, I will share with you the results of an in an market research that we made in the Greek market when we uh, defined some products that could have potential in the Greek market. This potential are determined by because there is a high demand for the products that I will mention in the next slide. There is also high dynamism of the demand. I mean that the Greek market is demanding more of these products in a crescent or in a, in a way more accelerate. And of course, the third point is that we have a supply okay of these products now we uh, found around 65 different tariff lines of different products that can have a uh, potential in the greek market most of them are from the food sector after the agriculture sector and we have a little bit of livestock and fishing let's go to the next slide please Okay, there is a very important slide for me that I will like, oh, I will love that it will be clear for you. Um, in, the, in the slide, in the graphic of the left side, we can find the food products that we found that could have potential in the Greek market. For example, uh, we found that uh, bakery products, for example, could reach around Greece import 125 million of, of dollars in these products and it will be a growth of 19% in 2019. There is a, a, a database in the past period. Now the fish preserves of all kinds of fish products processed, not fresh, mineral water, uh, chocolate, tobacco, 
pasta products and preserved fruits. All these products, Costa Rica has an offer and Greece has a demand. So I think that we could share with us some of this. We can export to Greece some of these products. And in the fresh or the agricultural sector, of course, it's important for us, the banana, coffee, and pineapple. We already has uh, companies participating or going to the Greek market, but we think that we can grow a lot uh, also in, in supply this kind of products of the Greek market. So the next one, please. Okay. So in the same line of uh, Karina that we mentioned, we want to match this offer. We want to show you what is Costa Rica offer to Greek market. Let's start for the agriculture sector. We're talking about, and uh, if you remind uh, the last uh, slide of uh, Karina, we're talking about fresh uh, bananas. So in the case of the bananas, we mentioned something really important. We have the production. We are the number three uh, exporter worldwide uh, of bananas. We have around production at 2,600,020 uh, tons yearly. We have all the most important uh, global uh, certifications. We have availability all the year and we have around 71 companies that already export. One of the things is that is really relevant and I want that you're keeping in mind is that 99% of the farm in Costa Rica have at least one environment or social certification. That this is something really important uh, by Costa Rica uh, product uh, mindset. And of course, the banana have uh, one of the good quality to import, especially in those times uh, that we need to care ourselves with the quality products uh, for our body is the high content of vitamin C, potassium, potassium and the uh, vitamin A and B that uh, banana have. As well, another product that is really relevant for the market that we saw with high potential and with the um, good offer in Costa Rica with high production, uh, we have in the pineapple sector, fresh pineapple sector, around uh, almost 2 million tons uh, productions with, um, for example, certification like a global gap organic certification. Um, we have a viability of the product all the year. We have around uh, 122 companies that already export. The main partners in, in pineapple sector is a USA market and the case of Europe is all on Spain, Italy and United Kingdom. Uh, what we find most of the companies that buy pineapple from Greek, uh, from Greece are companies that uh, buy from traders, most of them, or for the international companies. So we want to offer you this option as well that you can buy directly for our uh, exporters. Um, and as you know, Costa Rica is the number one uh, fresh exporter of pineapple in the world. And one of the things that Costa Rica has uh, at value is our variety of pineapple. We have the variety is called MD2 that is characterized both, uh, by the sweetness and the aroma that uh, this fruit have. And of course, the high content of vitamin C, potas, potassium, uh, vitamin A and B and is low calorie fruit. So it's rich in, in nutrients that uh, can help the body to recover after, uh, you know, all the process of protect the body for the COVID-19. Uh, we can help uh, with the natural nutrients uh, to help our body to, to increase the immune system. The other product that was shown in the slide was the watermelon. We have around 62,000 tons a yearly with the international certification. Aviability is seasonal product. And so we have aviability just January until March or April in some cases. And uh, we have, for example, variety seedlets and seedless watermelon, uh, minis, and another kind, green and light green. Uh, variety as well. So we have in that product uh, around 17 uh, companies, 
16 companies, sorry. And we export for more than 17 destinations. And the cocoa and grains and were uh, or split raw and roasted uh, cocoa, we have around seven companies. And this uh, kind of product, uh, as we, we produce, Costa Rica is really well uh, known in the Central America and uh, with the only recognition about the quality of our uh, cocoa. So this is something that you can explore as well, because we know that in the, in the Switzerland's um, um, industry, Greece are going very, very high. And the last product of the agriculture sector, we're talking about mango, that is one of the most consuming fruit in the world. So we want to show you as well our offer. Uh, we have uh, it's a, as well a seasonal uh, fruits so we need to coordinate about it, uh, but uh, we can have more uh, than 13 companies that can offer you this kind of fruits during uh, the months of production. So regarding uh, the raw material ability, we have, for example, mango, papaya, banana, a blackberry, gordonberry, cassava, chayote, and carrot all the year. As I mentioned before, mango and watermelon and melon are uh, seasonal. Uh, so you need to take a look about it when you take a decision, when you planning to import this kind of product to your market. Regarding the food industry, we want to talking about the experience of Costa Rica. Costa Rica have more than 100 years of experience in the food industry. And why is Costa Rica really well known because we have very high, uh, high quality products with deep essence in innovation and excellency and sustainability. So regarding the food industry, we are the number one worldwide exporter of pineapple juice concentrate, number two exporter of homogenized preparation, number three exporter of sauces and uh, preparate in Latin America. And nine of the 40 main food processing companies have operation in Costa Rica. And maybe you say why? Because they have access to high quality raw materials and as well, very high standard of processing and sophisticated industry. So um, this is something that uh, is really demanded for the big and most demanding and high quality companies worldwide. So this is our main business partner. Uh, the 23 of the export of the food industry is going to North America. Almost the 47% is going to Central America and the 17% is going to Europe, the uh, European Union. Union. So about international certification, it's really important to know that Costa Rica in the 1770 uh, uh, established and implement high quality of successful positional international uh, certification. It has a global ma uh, gap, uh, USD organic, MSF, ISO, etc., kosher, halal, um, organic freight trade and another ones. So this is uh, really important because when you match in the most demanded markets and the buyer, you can find good companies with uh, very high sophistication. Now let's go a little bit more deep regarding the information that I want to give you today. In the main uh, categories that we saw in the, in the potential market, we defined the coffee. And as you know, Costa Rica have the best coffee in the world. We have premium coffee, 100% Arabica, with the best smell, body, and acidity, and win of more of the international awards. So in the coffee industry, we have around 57 companies that export uh, worldwide with international certifications and the variety, as I mentioned before, is Arabica. We have eight regions of productions and that uh, will allow to us 
uh, to plantain uh, all the year. So Costa Rica is really important that you know that don't use uh, insecticides and uh, the plantation of coffee is considered the second most important forest in Costa Rica. So what we offer in the coffee sector, we have a specialty coffee, cold coffee, roasted and wall beans options. So what we can find, innovative processes, flavored coffee, quality labs, and rewarded products. This is kind of the attributes that you can find in the, in the sector. We say before more than 60 companies with attributes of uh, flavored coffee with vanilla, chocolate, guava, um, as well with a different kind of texture. The business model is on, on and private label, retail and bulk. And the fishes, fishes and agriculture sector that we saw with high potential as well, we have around 21 companies that export fishes, uh, fisheries. So Costa Rica offer a wide variety of fish and selfish that uh, which came from both marine and continent, uh, continental uh, sources. So, and that quite of things Costa Rica developed, uh, for example, organic uh, as rings, and uh, we have cultivation and clear water, uh, for example, the case of the tilapia. So you can find many options. In the case of Costa Rica, we export the uh, in the main markets of United States, Belgium, and Hong Kong. Um, and the division of fruits and vegetable roots and frozen tubers, we have around 25 companies um, with all kinds of certification, has the BRC, FS. SC 22,000, Global Gap, Kosher, Halal, and we offer the most exotic and delicious fruit. We have IQF frozen products such as pineapple, banana, papaya, melon, roots, and tubers, uh, cassava plantains, and another ones with different kind of packaging uh, for the food services or retail in private or on label. So in that case, um, we can give you and provide you all the list of those companies that we mentioned. And the bakery, uh, bakery products, we have around 48, uh, 48 companies that export already. Uh, with the main market is Latin America in the case of bakery. Uh, with the, we have a product uh, with has a cookies, pastry, ready to bake, frozen bread and flowers premixers and many, many kinds of ingredients uh, with different kinds of product options, has a gluten-free, sugar-free, all with alternative uh, flowers, uh, with fruits, roots, and tubers, with really high quality and standards. We can offer flowers, premix, and ingredients. Uh, as I said before, uh, for example, we have a uh, rich in proteins, uh, we have flowers or um, product and product from the blue zones, as I know, and we know Costa Rica and Greece share uh, this select group of uh, the have worldwide uh, uh, blue zones. So this is kind of the product that you can see in our offer uh, with different kind of uh, attributes, uh, ethnic products, and uh, different kind of model business. This is a little bit a uh, uh, few packaging that you can see of the products. This is a kind of alternative flowers that we can offer uh, for the uh, specific niche of uh, the people that is sensitive with the uh, gluten and other kind of sensibilities and, uh, and the gut. Um, as well, we have in that uh, kind of division uh, for the ingredients and the flavor uh, textures uh, that we can offer. And that uh, ingredients, uh, for example, you can take a look about the uh, flowers that we made by veggies of tubers with different kind of uh, raw material that we have in Costa Rica. So you can create a lot and explore uh, your, your mind uh, and the creativity and the kitchen 
and to offer this kind of variety of flavors and colors to your clients. And the dry fruits, we have around 26 companies that export uh, in the world. And the dry fruits, we are most focused in uh, the case of tropical fruits like banana, pineapple, mango, and papaya. What, uh, they are 100% natural without add sugar, without preservative, without fat, without gluten. Uh, or we have organic and conventional as well. Um, uh, with the packaging and bulk or retail. One of the other category that we want to show you is that Nax and Confectionery. Uh, we have uh, around 27 companies with all kinds of more demanded international certification. We are really well known for produce healthy snacks. And this category, we are talking with more details uh, in the next slides. But the important thing to mention here is uh, we have uh, many options. So to offer to this specific niche and trend about the healthy snacks. Well, we have fruit snacks and dried snacks, root and tuber chips, and another fruit uh, snacks. So with no fat uh, trans fats, with high quality and safety, safety standard, with no artificial color, and with a very nice packaging. Uh, we have, for example, different kind of uh, attributes as the, the tropical uh, fruit, 100% natural, and all the company and that division are certified. Uh, as you see, for example, this is one of the, um, the company that, uh, this is private level that uh, one company decide to work. And this is another kind that uh, we offer as well, not only in fruit, as well in, in the roots and coconut and another ones. Uh, so in that division we have in the roots uh, and uh, towards we have uh, as well a um, very strong and organic productions and gluten-free, like I mentioned before, and low sodium. So all the trends to be more healthy is something that Costa Rican company take very seriously. So they develop R&D centers in their companies and they create a most of the product oriented to this kind of market. So you can see, for example, this is kind of a cassava and plantain chips and another ones. Um, now we have uh, the line of the of the purees, and uh, as well, for example, the frozen pineapple. Uh, in that case, in the product to ready to eat, we can find natural 100 uh, tropical fruit purees that can go in different kind of packaging, as you can see. And we, for finish this part of the snack category, we have a. Uh, chocolate snacks with superfood and the lime uh, keto. So uh, this is um, or order of the trends that we saw that have very good potential uh, to grow in the Greek market. And the special the specialty cookies and the snacks bar, we offer uh, snacks and cookies with superfood. Uh, one of the things that are really uh, develop in Costa Rica is the, the categories of uh, sources of fiber, prebiotic fiber, and uh, 100 calories for uh, per serving, no artici artificial and preservative colors, and with natural ingredients and superfood. This is how a few of the companies that you can see, and they mix it as well with exotic fruits. So this is a other keto line specialized for the all these people that uh, follow the keto diet. So, so this is another kind of line of um, of cookies uh, with no cholesterol, with a good nutrition. So you can go more deep and explore this category. As you see, we are really strong in that uh, field. Uh, we have as well cereals and proteins uh, bars. 
And uh, this kind of snacks you can find in different uh, kind uh, with mixes and tropical uh, fruit added and as well superfood. Uh, this is one of the categories that uh, keto, no sugar and no gluten. In the, in the um, subdivision of sauces, we have around 28 companies. And one of the things that Costa Rica offers is the exotic flavors and the so exotic combination that we develop, for example, with the uh, adding uh, coconut, chipotle, pineapple, and another one with different kinds of preparations uh, for the retail and food, saver, uh, food services and private sector is one of the most developed sector in that field. Um, which kind of uh, sauces and dresses and we offer traditional sauces with meat production and food and spices options. Um, we can find options, for example, sugar free and with the natural, just natural ingredient uh, usage. Uh, we have 20 plus 20 companies and uh, the exotic flavors that I was mentioned before as a passion fruit and mango that will increase the flavor of every dish. Um, we can work in the, to, in the business model uh, of all, all private label. And the water that was the other product that uh, Karina mentioned before, we have around uh, five companies that uh, already export and have international certification. And one of the things that um, is really important is our uh, Costa Rican water is fresh and clean. It came from the best tropical forest in the world. I don't know if you know, but Costa Rica is uh, the house for 5% of the biodiversity of the world. So we have uh, one of the best forests uh, worldwide. So we have social responsibility and that uh, tropical forest uh, production of the water. And uh, we have a different kind of presentation has no plastic. So what we can find, we can find artis artisan water and spring water. Um, with the green noise, sustainable uh, packaging and no plastic. Uh, we have beautiful packages, for example, that uh, in glass or or in the aluminum as well, and uh, in different kind of business model, like I mentioned before, uh, own in private level, retail, or for the food services. And another categories with innovation and add value products, we can find cookie, uh, coffee flakes, products, uh, sugar-free, functional products, exotic fr uh, fruit recovery with chocolates, uh, ethnic products, and uh, uh, for example, jams without sugar. And uh, for example, um, tuna filet and ceviche style and another kind of product. And as well, for example, the sugar, that is something that is uh, demanding in Greece. We start already to export sugar. And uh, we have a specifically variety of sugar and uh, organic, the marara, and another kind, different kind of packaging as well. In general, for summary, this is all the export offer that we have, and uh, you can take a look about it, and let's talk uh, uh, later about how you can approach those companies. Karina? Okay, thank you, Diana. Uh, so let me ask, uh, share with you some aspects about the logistics because if you want to know of, if you want to make business with Costa Rica, it's important to know about how can you get your products from Costa Rica to Greece. So now, mm -hmm. as I mentioned before, uh, our products uh, go inside the Greek market by the to port Pireos and Thessaloniki, right? So in the next slide, you can have an idea of the prices of the freight of the, um, okay. First, we have here some indicators about the logistics and between Costa Rica and Greece, there is a comparison. Of course, Greece, because of his uh, legacy and the um, 
marine industry or the shipping industry, there has more um, better or better indicators in the logistic aspects. For example, um, Greece is a, 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 a country when we uh, can find more uh, easiness to tracking shipments, for example. And there is um, the other um, indicators that show that it's easy to perform the logistics in Greece. This is important for Costa Rican exporters because they know that uh, making the business with the Greek companies could be, could be possible, okay? Now in the next one, um, all the totality of the exports that we made to Greece going, are going by ship, okay? Uh, of course, because of the products, there are very voluminous products. For example, in last year, the export volume was 22,000, more than 20,000 ton tons. And in the next one, um, there is important info about the cost of the logistics. This cost that I am sharing with you are average cost uh, that a freight uh, company offer to the export company in Costa Rica. It's important that you know that these are now contract uh, negotiated before. So for this, these prices could look uh, a little bit higher than the, than the final cost but it's a reference like that. For example, for a standard container, we could reach from $3,250 to $3,800, uh, almost $3,900. And refer, for example, for fresh products uh, from uh, all, also $4,000 or $5,000, okay? But remember, these are reference prices and it could change um, or it could go low if, if the exporting company in Costa Rica has a contract with the shipment company, okay? Uh, in consolidate, I mean, not a full container, but for example, a pallet from one ton, uh, it can go from, ooh, this price from $1,450 and $1,960, okay? Let me uh, say again, this is a uh, non-negotiated by contract tariff, okay? Now in the next one, um, we take around 20 days or 23 days going from the port in Costa Rica to Greek market. This is the transit time. And maybe we make transfer ports of in Manzanillo, Panama, Valletta in Malta, or sometimes in Port Said in Egypt. It depends of the shipping line company that the export uh, a company used in Costa Rica. Now we have service of all the main shipping lines uh, and they um, go to the, to the ship once a week. Okay, to to go to the to the Greek ports, and in the next one, I will like to share with you some recommendations that we give to the exporting companies. But it's important that you know um, about that also. Okay, it's important to have if you don't have a previous contract, the cost can be very high. So it's important for the for the negotiation here in Costa Rica that the company has a contract with the shipping line. As I mentioned before, the Greek market is not, it's an incipient market for Costa Rican companies. So we don't have lots of companies going through the Greek market directly. I know that some Costa Rican companies uh, send product, for example, by Rotterdam or by Hamburg or by other product, other ports in Europe, and maybe they go by land or, right? Also, so to the other countries in Europe, but going directly from Costa Rica to Greek ports is still a very high cost. Okay, um, the transit time could be shorter if we um, 
have a contract with a with a company, but 20 days is still a, a transit time that we can um, manage well for the products that we are wanting to say. For example, fresh products, 20 days, it's okay. And I think I have a last one a slide. In the next, mm -hmm. Diana. This one. Uh -huh. So it's important to, when you get in conversation with Costa Rican companies, it's important to talk about the land connection from Pireos to Thessaloniki to the main markets. So um, if our exporters don't have previous experience, it's important that you as importer guide them to in, in the in all the inland logistic in the green market, in the Greek market. So this is important. Uh, an important recommendation that we ask to our exporters, they, that they ask you as potential importers, uh, talk about all the internal logistics in the Greek market. For example, to go through the main cities, for example, Athens, okay? So I think that these are all my slides. <laughs> Thank you, Karina, and uh, now that the most important thing, how we can do, how we can do business, what we can do. So the first thing that uh, we want to, that uh, you will keep in mind uh, deeply is about uh, the next event that we're gonna have that is called Buyer Trade Mission. I will show you a short video uh, about this event that you will have idea of what we're talking about. And then we are going more deep about it. This event is uh, will done. Uh, we will done in Costa Rica uh, virtual. All the year we have this event uh, in the beautiful Costa Rica, but because the restriction that most of our countries have, we uh, will have the second edition of virtual uh, event. So in that event, how you will proceed? You can register to Self, or you can let me know and with my help I will register of you and we can try to connect you and build your business agenda for each of our uh, interests and we will develop your goals inside of Costa Rica and to increase your potential uh, market and to your potential sales and options to your clients. Uh, what is the VTM? The VTM is the via transmission. It's the largest event in, in the region. We, this year, expecting a buyer for, from more than 35 countries. And uh, we will bring the, the best of the offer of Costa Rica. Uh, this is event that you cannot miss. So please uh, take a look about it, uh, thinking if you need any support, don't miss uh, to call me and to let me know what is uh, your needs. This event will be divided in three weeks. Uh, we have the first week, uh, all the exporters of agriculture sector that will start the 20th of September until 24th of uh, September. We have uh, in that division just uh, more than uh, 170 exporters in the food industry. We will have the exporters in the week of the 27th of September until the 1st of uh, October with the more 100 uh, exporters and the uh, uh, specialized industry or manufacturing. Uh, we will have the last week. So and in the case of our office, we can manage as well in that food industry or agriculture the week of the 4th and the 8th of October as well. So we can work a, a little bit about it and talking about it. 
So the key takeaways, first of all, Costa Rica really is a strategic business ally for you. Procomer, we are here to help you, to support you, to increase your suppliers, to, to looking for a new a innovative products and our Costa Rican offer. So don't uh, feel afraid to ask to, to develop and to explore with Costa Rica. We have very strong capabilities to work from formulation to product development and to all the kind of uh, business model that we are talking about as well. And the last one and, and most important, register to the VTM. We want you in this event, we want to have very big uh, Greek delegation this year. And uh, so we now will open the time for a question. So if someone have a question, please, Joanna will help us with the chat if there is a few questions. Or if someone have uh, the access to open the microphone with the more of our pleasure, uh, we can answer your questions. Uh, this is my details. Uh, you can find me by the email D Cordero uh, Strudel uh, Procomer.com. And this is my phone number that you can uh, write me and send me a message by WhatsApp or calling me. Feel, feel free. I don't know if someone has a question. Diana. Yes. yes, I have uh, some questions over here. The first one is related to the BTM and it is in order to participate at the BTM, I just have to make the online register or there are more requirements. If it does, which ones are? Yes, in that case, thank you, Joanna. And thank you for who asked this question. And specifically, if you want to participate in the, in the BTM, you need to register in this link. Uh, www.btmcr.com and to that you will have a specifically a, a form that will uh, ask you a few questions more about your company what is your interest in, and uh, from that we can develop a specifically and personalized business agenda for you during this week in the case of the time zone, uh, don't worry, we, we have around nine hours difference. Uh, so we're gonna start our meetings uh, as today, like at three o'clock uh, afternoon until six o'clock uh, noon. So we can uh, have three hours every day during those weeks uh, to, to advance the opportunity to meet the Costa Rican companies. I hope I can answer the question. Another question? Yes, here we have. Well, if we if I want to contact a Costa Rican exporter, to whom I should contact? In that case, you should contact me. Uh, this is my details. Uh, we will share with you regarding your interest, uh, the export offer. Uh, so in that, we will start that conversation. We're going to start the email introduction and we can organize you a business agenda, trade mission. We can uh, explore even if you want to travel to Costa Rica, we can build you business agenda in Costa Rica or uh, advance in the BTM. Yes, but you can uh, write me an email and with my pleasure, I will share with you all the information that we're talking about, as you see, is a lot of companies uh, that we couldn't we couldn't have the time to put all of them on the, on the loop. But uh, this is the this our first event, so the idea is to give you knowledge about what Costa Rica has. Thank you, Diana. Here we have another one, and is that why is there low patronage from Africa? I think it's I don't know if. Emmanuel is all over there, and if we can explain a little bit, but it's like an expo a sponsorship from Africa. Sorry, I, I didn't understand the question. Okay, the question is, why is there low patronage from Africa? From I Af don't know. Yeah, 
I don't know if he can explain a little bit more about his question. Yeah, maybe, maybe yes. Uh, Emmanuel, you can open your microphone, please. And yes, yeah, so and maybe Karina, maybe she can help me. I don't know if he's over there. <clears throat> I don't understand well the question, but if you are, Emmanuel, if you are asking about the participation of Costa Rica, with African commercial trade partners, uh, of course, there is low because we don't have many experience making business with African countries. Maybe we have logistics uh, barriers. And also the most important is that the offer of Costa Rican products is similar to the offer of the African products. Maybe, you know, they have tropical fruits, some of the countries have coffee also. So maybe we we'll fear the same things. Maybe uh, we have not developed a very high or very deep uh, commercial um, relationship with the African countries, if this is what you are asking about. Uh, uh, I remember, uh, I, if I don't make a mistake, last year or two years ago, Procomer make an effort to to bring a, a trade mission in Morocco. So this is what was a, one of the things that uh, we already done in the past with the African uh, countries. Uh, but this is something that uh, we work in the, as you say, uh, Karina, we are followed uh, specifically by market intelligence uh, oriented uh, potential uh, partnerships. And, uh, and sure, there is a logistic uh, barriers uh, but it's something that we in, in Procomer can take a look more deeply. And if you send us an email, we will be more than happy to explore more deep uh, about your question. Thank you, so girls. Question? Yes, here is another one. It says, thank you very much for the presentations. Can you please tell me how can Procomer help me find the supplier for my need? I think it's very related to what uh, you, Diana, was talking regarding okay. the contact. Yes, perfect. The, the best way is to contact us, uh, to contact me, send me an email or WhatsApp message. Uh, I'm really open to answer uh, WhatsApp as well. So you can uh, write me specifically your need and we will uh, looking for the perfect match for your needs. Uh, Costa Rica, as you know, have a big offer and there is some products and categories that we didn't mention because we really want to be very focused in the categories of the product that have very high potential and demand in Greece. But of course, there is another products that are there and uh, we can help you. So just send me an email and let's talk. Thank you, Diana. Um, someone is asking about the trade shows. In which trade shows are you participating currently? Okay, basically we have and participate in all the European trade, uh, trade uh, shows. Actually, we're going to have a booth in Anuga this year. Uh, Joanna will <laughs> yes. be there. Uh, <laughs> So maybe you, we can talking about which is kind of products we are gonna have. The company will be in the, our booth of Costa Rica, so we can advance to organize you business agenda directly with the company. Uh, this is something that we always uh, try to offer the international buyers that when you visit international uh, first with the Procomer, we will give you meetings. Uh, so. It's not only visit the fair, you will be have very product, uh, productive time in Procomer booth. Maybe Joanna, you can talking about what uh, we will participate this year? Yes, for sure. Well, we are we are having two stands, one in the frozen uh, hall and one in Anuga Fine Food. We will have uh, 10 companies over there. Uh, actually, we will offer sugar, uh, functional drinks like um, is fruit snacks and baby food, uh, coffee and cocoa and banana puree, uh, some cocktail mixers and some uh, dry pineapple. And in the frozen stand, we will have like a frozen fruit, frozen uh, foods. 
and vegetables. Um, and we are going to have uh, let me see. No, just that. And like Diana said, we have more than 10 years participating in uh, the European trade shows. We have like a lot of experience in this part of, of, of the world. And uh, Anuga is one of the uh, biggest and important and more important uh, trade shows around the world. So for us, it's very important to have the focus of our exporters over there. So if you want more information regarding the hall or the days, well, this trade show is going to be uh, from 9 to 13 of October. And I think that Diana will be there with us. Yes. And as well, we have a we have a booth in the a fruit logistic when there's the presidential and IPM as yeah. well. So we participate most of the first in Europe and the United States as well. And in Gold Food, we have a booth as well. So you just can write us, and we can help you and build your business agenda with Costa Rican companies. Yeah, that already going to be there and you can taste our delicious products and fruits. Some questions? Thank you, Diane. I think that, um, I think that, well, here over here, which kind of quality certifications do your company have, like a standards or something like that? Uh, bueno, most of the companies have the most uh, prestigious uh, international uh, standard certifications. So it depends, for example, uh, what is the, your division and uh, what is the category uh, of the industry. But uh, with Costa Rica, since the 70s, uh, are developed very strong experience and uh, uh, sophisticates uh, good uh, practices uh, and safety practices for the food industry. So you can find the biggest and the most highest standard certification in our companies. But in that case, for example, you have a specific uh, product that you want to take a look, uh, we can give you, uh, you just need to write me and uh, tell me what is the product that you uh, want and which is the certification that you require. But uh, most of the companies have the international that is a uh, needed in the European Union and the USA market or another continent as well. Thank you, Diana. There is no more questions. Okay, guys, I think uh, we are on time. So thank you so much for, for being with us and joining us in this webinar. It was really grateful for us to be today here in the first event of the uh, to approach and increase the trade between Costa Rica and Greece. I hope very soon I can visit you and uh, enjoy the beautiful country of Greece and the paradise of islands and places that you have there, guys. Thank you so much, Karina. You want to say something? So yes, I want to say thank you also. And my wish is that you can make business with Costa Rican companies and also that you can have good experience with this business. And yes. if you can visit us, it's a beautiful country waiting for you. Yes, sure. So thank you so much for your time. And please, let's talk. Let's talk. We have a lot of things to, to share with you. And we want to uh, be part of uh, Costa Rican offer and the uh, Greek uh, families and industries uh, with uh, can experience what uh, we have to offer. To, to you. Thank you so much. Have a beautiful afternoon and for the Costa Rican that are joining us, have a beautiful day. Thank you so much. Goodbye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Goodbye.